Hello one and all. Today we will be discussing about pile foundation and pile integrity test along with the procedure followed at the construction site. Pile foundation ka upyog mukhya roop se superstructure se load ko kamzor, lower level ya pani ke madhyam se gaharai par majboot, adhik compact, kam sampeedit aur kathor mitti ya chattan par transfer karne ke liye kiya jata hai. What is a pile integrity test? Concrete piles and drilled shafts are an important category of foundations. Despite their relatively high cost, they become necessary when we want to transfer the loads of AA heavy superstructure, bridge, high-rise building, ETC, to the lower layers of soil. In general, pile integrity refers to certain characteristics of deep foundations and piles such as Physical dimensions of pile, length or cross-section Continuity of pile, presence of voids or major cracks, and Consistency of the pile material Pile integrity test refers to qualitative evaluation of the physical dimensions, continuity of a pile, and consistency of the pile material. Various methods are available for checking the integrity of concrete piles after installation. In the most widely used method, impulses or vibrations are applied to the pile and measurements made of timings and attenuation of reflected signals. Several methods have been developed over the past few decades in order to evaluate the integrity of piles. The selection of test method depends on many parameters like pile dimensions, cross section, depth, pile type, strata, soil condition. As we discussed in the previous sections, access to pile element is often limited to the pile head area. Therefore, the test either have to performed on pile head or certain features need to be implemented during pile construction. In this article, we will present the most common NDT methods for evaluation of pile integrity. Low strain pile integrity test, cross hole sonic logging, thermal integrity test. Pile integrity test pit is normally performed by striking the pile head with a light handheld hammer and recording the response of the pile using a motion transducer i e accelerometer coupled to the pile head the hammer strike blows generate compressive stress wave that will travel through the pile this wave is partly reflected from the pile toe or other anomalies within the pile in its way back to pile head any change in impedance due to change in pile cross section concrete density or shaft soil properties within the pile can impact the reflecting signal the integrity testing should be performed no sooner than 7 days after casting or after concrete strength achieves at least 3 quarters of its design strength whichever occurs earlier a firm connection between the sensor tip and concrete surface pile tip is needed for successful application of the test method a thin layer of vaseline or putty is normally used to make a firm connection between the sensor and the pile head low strain impact integrity testing is performed using a handheld hammer the hammer can be as light as couple of 100 grams to relatively heavier options the motion transducer collects reflection on the pile head The measurements can be either acceleration, accelerometer, or velocity, geophone. A typical reflection from a sound pile is displayed in the following graph. Results can be displayed in time domain, where horizontal axis shows the arrival time of echoes on pile head. Alternatively, time stamps can be converted to depth values. Results can be presented in negative or positive formats. The first peak is usually from the surface wave triggering the motion transducer. In a sound pile, the next major peak is usually the one associated with pile toe. A minimum sampling rate of 25 kHz and time array length of 100 ms is generally good for evaluating most piles. In the event of using an accelerometer, integration of test results are used to show the measurements in velocity format. 